This is Twit. In, in my own notes, I, I I I wrote it down as in the what could possibly be wrong with this idea? The U.S. government's own national internet ID experiment begins. Thus, the news. Um, the New York Times picked up on it, and they they used the analogy of an internet driver's license. I, I think because a driver's license is a civic identity. I mean, it's a government issued ID, um, and uh, and Tech Dirt, among others, picked up on it, and their headline was. U.S. government begins rollout of its driver's license for the Internet. Um, and their subhead was from the seizing the wrong moment department. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he, and, and, and they, they just wrote at the very beginning, they said, an idea the government has been kicking around since 2011 is finally making its debut. Calling this move ill-timed would be the most gracious way of putting it. And of course, this is all post NSA and Snowden, and now they're saying, "Oh, we're going to come out with a governmental issued cyber ID." Um, so, okay, Michigan and Pennsylvania are the two states where a pilot study next month will be started, and it's just intergovernmental agencies. So, I don't even know if a private citizen can get one, but it's just so it's probably for employees in unnamed agencies in those two states to be burdened with one more thing they've got to worry about. Um, just sort of to have it go, have it, you know, we know how healthcare.gov came out. So <laughs> maybe they're going to work on rolling this one out a little more gently this time or, or keep it to themselves for a while. Um, I guess I'm of two minds about this. There are things that that arguably could be valuable theoretically. I mean, let, let me just couch this and make, I want to be very clear that people don't think I've completely lost my mind, but you know, filing your taxes um, electronically or voting if there were a way to do that. Of course, I guess all of these things are subject to, you know, horrific, you know, cyber tampering thus the concern but but there are certainly instances where we want anonymity and this is the reverse of that this is apparently provable identity but i would argue as the internet becomes the thing that there are there's some scope of need where we we absolutely want to be able to assert deliberately and with intention and in a way that is secure this is actually me yeah i mean to, well any financial transaction right i mean well well see, there we would be doing it to our bank this is to the, to the government, government. Uh, let me think yes. of what you know you can't do it for voting uh there although there has been a move to do that to have you know, prove you are who you say you are, but that... Well, no, we're, we're talking in the future. So right. ima imagine the future where... Well, I hope they I don't mean, do it for voting, but uh, I guess if you want to do online voting, you would have to authenticate, right? Yeah, I mean, I think probably health care and voting and maybe taxes. I mean, things that are, you know, civic, federal, probably, there may be some way of going to the post office and... Sure. And, and an proving, ID. you know... Yeah. yeah, give them a birth certificate and an ID or whatever and say, I want my government-issued cyber ID. I don't know how it works yet. Um, you know, I mean, I, but even it's the last thing I'm going to worry about because, well, you know, if it ever begins to actually happen, we'll definitely cover the technology. I hope, hope they haven't messed it up. And I think in this day and age, it is just, it's just in the last few years this has happened. So they must know how to do this right. <laughs> Didn't Facebook used to have they for some people they would ask for a government ID. You send like a <laughs> like a newspaper and a picture of yourself holding the newspaper or something to to prove you are who you. Are. There are cases where uh, I guess you could use a government ID for something like that. But you, and that's my that's exactly my point is yeah. I can see where you know you but you got one you got a driver's license that's a government ID. I don't 
Yeah, just hold it up and wave hold it in front of the camera. Yeah. Okay, I'll try, to, I'll try to hold it still. Okay, how's that? And, but we know, I mean, I'm, there have been attempts for voter ID uh, in, in many states, and it's uh. widely considered uh, a bad idea because it uh, disenfranchises poorer voters. So um, I don't know. Right. Where, and even the machines, they can't even make a machine oh, right. that, work, that that's works. That's right. You know, it's like, oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like a bad idea. I mean, I mean, it's very worrisome, but I just thought, you know, since it's, it's it's coming up in the news, it's this thing's beginning to raise its head. I've I've, I've referred to it many times in the past because, as I said, I get, you know, random email from them saying, oh, we're having a big conference. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay, Mystic. Good. Mystic. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, there's been – every once in a while somebody floats the idea of a national ID program and it usually gets – well, this is, I mean, around. this is, it would effectively be, wouldn't it? This is, this is moving forward. Yeah. So, I mean, the, I mean, it may get squashed. The EFF just, I mean, if they had their way, this thing would just they'd be under their heel being ground into nothing right now. So, uh, you well, know, if they're we'll again it, I'm again it. Yeah. They, they generally have their, the, the right perspective.